Welcome to Daily Scripture and Meditation with Shirley Celis Jackson. We begin, as always, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thursday, the 6th of July, 2023, of the 13th week in Ordinary Time, is the optional memorial of St. Maria Goretti. Virgin and Martyr. O fountain of everlasting love, what shall I say of you? How can I ever forget you, you who has vouchsafed to remember me even after that I was corrupted and was lost? Is it much that I should serve you, whom the whole creation is bound to serve? Daily Prayer Lord Jesus, through your merciful love and forgiveness, you bring healing and restoration to body, mind, and soul. May your healing power and love touch every area of my life, my innermost thoughts, feelings, attitudes, and memories. Pardon my offenses and transform me in the power of the Holy Spirit that I may walk confidently in your truth and goodness. Amen. Introduction to the Liturgy of the Word Maria was born of poor but devout farm laborers in Coronaldo, Italy at the end of the 19th century. After her father's death, little Maria helped her mother care for the family. At the age of 11, she convinced a friend to instruct her in the catechism and she made her first communion in a borrowed dress. Only a few months later, a 19-year-old farm laborer attempted to rape her. When Maria begged him not to commit such a grave sin, he stabbed her repeatedly. She died having offered him her forgiveness. St. John Paul II taught that Maria's life encourages us to experience the joy of the poor who know how to renounce everything, provided they do not lose the one thing necessary the friendship of God. The Epistle, the Sacrifice of Abraham, our Father in Faith. A reading from the book of Genesis, chapter 22, verse 1. God put Abraham to the test. He called to him, Abraham, Here I am, he replied. Then God said, Take your son Isaac, your only one, whom you love, and go to the land of Moriah. There you shall offer him up as a burnt offering on a height that I will point out to you. Early the next morning, Abraham saddled his donkey, took with him his son Isaac, and two of his servants as well. And with the wood that he had cut for the burnt offering, he set out for the place of which God had told him. On the third day, Abraham got sight of the place from afar. Then he said to his servants, Both of you stay here with the donkey while the boy and I go over yonder. We will worship and then come back to you. Thereupon, Abraham took the wood for the burnt offering, and laid it on his son Isaac's shoulders, while he himself carried the fire and the knife. As the two walked on together, Isaac spoke to his father Abraham. Father, he said. Yes, son, he replied. Isaac continued, Here are the fire and the wood, but where is the sheep for the burnt offering? Son, Abraham answered, God himself will provide the sheep for the burnt offering. Then the two continued going forward. When they came to the place of which God had told him, Abraham built an altar there and arranged the wood on it. 
Next, he tied up his son Isaac and put him on top of the wood on the altar. Then he reached out and took the knife to slaughter his son. But the Lord's messenger called to him from heaven, Abraham, Abraham, here I am, he answered. Do not lay your hand on the boy, said the messenger. Do not do the least thing to him. I know now how devoted you are to God, since you did not withhold from me your own beloved son. As Abraham looked about, he spied a ram caught by its horn in the thicket. So he went and took the ram and offered it up as a burnt offering in place of his son. Abraham named the site Yahweh Yireh. Hence people now say, On the mountain the Lord will see. Again the Lord's messenger called to Abraham from heaven and said, I swear by myself, declares the Lord, that because you acted as you did in not withholding from me your beloved son, I will bless you abundantly and make your descendants as countless as the stars of the sky and the sands of the seashore. Your descendants shall take possession of the gates of their enemies, and in your descendants all the nations of the earth shall find blessing all this because you obeyed my command. Abraham then returned to his servants, and they set out together for Beersheba, where Abraham made his home. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 115 Responsorial Verse I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. Not to us, O Lord, not to us, but in your name give glory because of your kindness, because of your truth. Why should the pagans say, Where is their God? I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. Our God is in heaven. Whatever he wills, he does. Their idols are silver and gold, the handiwork of men. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. They have mouths, but speak not. They have eyes, but see not. They have ears, but hear not. They have noses, but smell not. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. Their makers shall be like them, everyone who trusts in them. The house of Israel trusts in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. Gospel Acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Gospel They glorified God who had given such authority to men. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew chapter 8 verse 1 After entering a boat, Jesus made the crossing and came into his own town. And there people brought to him a paralytic lying on a stretcher. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Courage, child, your sins are forgiven. At that, some of the scribes said to themselves, This man is blaspheming. Jesus knew what they were thinking and said, Why do you harbor evil thoughts? Which is easier to say, Your sins are forgiven, or to say, Rise and walk. 
but that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. He then said to the paralytic, Rise, pick up your stretcher, and go home. He rose and went home. When the crowds saw this, they were struck with awe and glorified God who had given such authority to men. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Meditation God himself will provide the sheep. Genesis chapter 22 verse 8 The story of Abraham's sacrifice of Isaac shocks us. We shudder to think of him binding up his beloved son, given to Sarah and him in their old age, and placing him on the altar. Yet, human sacrifice was common in Abraham's time. The surprising twist in the story is that this God, unlike the gods of the pagans, intervened and saved Isaac. God rewarded Abraham's trust and obedience by providing a ram to take Isaac's place as the sacrifice. Isaac was a miracle child, the fulfillment of God's promise to bless Abraham. Through the sheer marvel of Isaac's birth, God had already demonstrated that he could do the impossible. So by the time Abraham received this command to offer up his son, he had learned to trust. He had learned that somehow God would not break his promise. Somehow God would maintain his covenant with Isaac and with his descendants after him. Genesis chapter 17 verse 19 Somehow God would provide. Abraham's trusting obedience is a model for us. Sometimes we have to offer our own Isaac to God. He may ask us to let go of something or someone we dearly love, a child moving away, perhaps, or a job, a home, or a cherished dream. But he also promises to provide for us just as he provided for Abraham. Jesus teaches a similar lesson when he says, Whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Matthew chapter 16 verse 25 Our life is a gift from God, but we must always hold it loosely. When we are called to lay down a part of our life, our Isaac, we can be sure that God will be with us to help us and make up for whatever we are losing. He promises to bless us as we cling to Him in the midst of it all. God asks for your whole life, not because He is selfish, but because He wants you to find the meaning and comfort that comes only from Him. Look back over your journey with God. Hasn't He provided for you? Hasn't He shown you His faithful love? Hasn't He proved Himself worthy to be trusted with your Isaacs? Don't be afraid to surrender your life to your loving Father. He will provide. Lord, I trust you. I put everything I am and have into your hands. Amen. We are God's hands, feet, and voice. May his peace rest upon you as you go and announce the gospel of the Lord in your words and deeds. Thank you for joining today. Abundant blessings upon you and yours. Amen. We close as always in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello, I'm Shirley, 
residential realtor for many years. As a professional, I welcome and encourage you to contact me whether you are buying or selling a home. Or if you know like-minded people like yourself that you want me to help guide through this overwhelming process. Whether in the Dallas Metroplex or across the country, I'd love to assist in your real estate needs. Click the link in the description below to land on my website for a plethora of real estate information. Thank you and blessings upon you and yours.